Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. My name is Marina. If you're new here, I do mobile home living in a trailer park in Tennessee. I had to get my house together, y'all. It got a little bit out of control. I've been trying to do the fly lady method, but honestly, I, my rotating method, which is just like my orbiting method, I literally orbit around each room in my house, <laughs> works so much better for me because I'm used to doing it that way. So I'm trying to find a good medium between the fly lady and my orbiting around the room method. And I think I'm coming up with something that, well, I'm not going to say I think I am because honestly, judging from the house right now, <laughs> I'm not coming up with nothing. But I feel like it's getting closer. I can feel it coming. It's getting closer. I'm kind of merging the two and making a fly lady orbit baby <laughs> my goal is to take the method from my orbiting cleaning and kind of merge it with the routine from the fly lady routine so i um, i love the routine that fly lady gives out i think it's great how she does basically bullet points for the day of what you need to clean everything's laid out it does overwhelm me a little bit but i i enjoy being told what to do because sometimes honestly if i'm i don't adult well so sometimes it's hard for me to tell myself what to do sometimes i don't even know where to start so fly lady kind of tells me where to start and then I can go from there and instead of doing it bullet point by bullet point I just use it as a rough draft to do my orbiting method like this is the room I need to take control of today this is how I'm going to do it I'm going to orbit from one end of the other do the perimeter and then do the inside of it that's how I that's how I started getting on my feet because I used to be a horrible homemaker I'm still not a great homemaker but I used to be a really bad homemaker I don't even know if you could call me a homemaker I'm praising right now praising Jesus maybe not now but not now forever get it Rena that's the voice of a saint right there <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not a great homemaker, but there has been a ton of improvement and I honestly owe a lot of the improvement to the orbiting method that I do. Like I said, I literally just pick a room and I go around. You'll see me. I start at one point in the kitchen. I start at the laundry room and then I go around. I think it's considered counterclockwise. I'm going backwards. I make my way through the dining room and I just continue to orbit around the room until I get to the place where I started. Works every time. Lose our way. We get back up again. You're gonna shine again. To get back up again. You made me die down, but not out forever. That is exactly the free concert my trailer park gets every single time I do a praise slash cleaning session. I had to clean off here my little dryer because I have not cleaned it in forever. So I just like wet dusted it. That's what I call it. I think that's what it's actually called. I don't know if I'm really just making up a word for it. But I just use a wet wipe. Like, sometimes I even use a baby wipe, if I'm being honest. I think it still works the same. But I use a wet wipe and just get all the dust that's accumulated off. I do it that way because any kind of duster I have ever owned has come to a tragic fate. And I just, I quit buying them. I just quit buying them and I started using baby wipes because that's what I had on hand. So I just, I'm putting everything back the way that I had it. And I try to not keep it cluttered on here and i know you guys a lot of you guys have said marina don't put a lot of stuff on your dryer so i try to keep it like this just the necessary things that i need for doing a load of clothes i'm making my way over here to the pantry because the pantry can get so out of whack so fast <laughs> It can get so out of whack so fast because there's so much traffic. I mean, my kiddos come and go to the pantry all day long to the snack bin. Um, I, you know, I come and get, I had the sugar in a snack bin mixed up. Like, usually I try to keep my flour and my sugar up on top and I, I had a snack bin up there. So, like, it just gets really messed up. Every single day I can clean the pantry and it would still be not just totally destroyed, but everything would be everywhere. And with it being an open pantry, I try to stay on it. Otherwise, it can it can make the whole dining room look cluttered if the pantry's out of whack the whole dining room will look out of whack until I tackle the pantry
The table is always a hot spot for me. I, it's always usually cluttered with clothes or with schoolwork. It never fails because a lot of times we, we do our school a little bit of everywhere. Sometimes we do it on the porch. We do it in the living room floor, on the couch, anywhere we feel like doing it that day. I've even done it with them in my bedroom floor before. Whatever we feel comfortable doing for that day, that's what we go with. But a lot of times we do end up doing it here at the table because it's just easier for me to get to all of them if they're sitting around me. I kind of place myself in the center of them so I can do everything everybody at once and help everybody in whatever way I can at one time and I don't have to go back and forth so a lot of times it's cluttered with schoolwork, but even more so it's covered with laundry because I do all of my laundry this is my laundry station until I do a laundry room makeover where I have where I give myself a space to fold and laundry and stuff in the laundry room I do it at my kitchen table this is my lovely calendar that you guys saw in the last video I'm hanging it up and keeping my life together by using this thing every month I've made that commitment to myself I'm gonna use that every month because I have so many planners going at once I have a meal planner I have a homeschooling planner I have a day day today planner a YouTube planner all of those things I'm gonna kind of just put together and I'm going to use that planner there on the inside of my pantry cabinets as like my headquarters. So that's the main thing that I need to focus on for that week. Those main things are going to be on that calendar and everything else can be in their list in the plant in the other planners, but the main things are going to be on that planner on the inside of the pantry cabinets. The rugs are always the topic of conversation down in the comments. Everybody wants to know where I get my rugs. This one came from BoutiqueRugs.com and the one in the living room came from Ross. The one in the living room was super affordable and in my opinion, I even love it better than this one. But this is one of my most favorite rugs I've ever owned. It's just really, really hard to keep clean. Vacuuming it is a nightmare because I, I really need to take it out and shake it out on the porch because I haven't done that in a while. But vacuuming it is a nightmare because there's two different kinds of carpet in it there's like a really thin carpet and then there's like a shag carpet and stuff always gets trapped in that rug I'm throughout the day going back and forth and trying to tackle this laundry and get it down as much as I can laundry is my boss fight you got have you guys ever played a video game your kids play video games they play boss fights and the boss fight is like the big fight at the end of the game <laughs> the laundry is my boss fight somebody just flushed the toilet in the background <laughs> my, my laundry is my boss fight because it's never ending and I cannot for the life of me get on a routine with it I've done the whole do one load a day thing it, it's just hard for me because when I get up my feet hit the floor in the morning the mornings are my busiest time of the day the busiest time of the day because I'm going back and forth getting everybody prepared to start school I'm doing whatever I can to get us ahead for that day because school takes up a majority of our day that's why you guys don't see a lot of me in the morning because the morning time is really my most busiest part of the day in the evening I kind of relax a little bit more and I really should and I should be catching up on housework and stuff in the evenings it's just by that time Shane's here I want to spend time with him and the kiddos and I know it's something I'm working on I'm folding this dirty blanket <laughs> I don't know why I'm folding the dirty blanket but I even go as far as to fold this dirty blanket too <laughs> and put it up there I tackle those in the next load I don't know why I folded them I guess I just wanted it to look better until I tackled them but I do have an issue with all these bottles of water laying around it's waste to me and I have spoke to my kids 
mosquitoes and Shane about it and like guys if we're gonna get a bottle of water we're gonna put our initials or our first initial and second initials on the top because a lot of my kid kiddos have the same initials <laughs> we're gonna put our first and second initial on the top so we know to go back to that water because there's only so many flowers I have like live flowers that I have in my house and I can use the water to water them and that's what I did with a couple of the waters but then I just didn't have I didn't know whose was whose and I didn't have nowhere else to put the water so I had to put it down the drain and I really got uh just a, like a nick in my spirit like ah I did that it didn't sit right with me I don't like that so I'm trying to do better about just being more alert when it comes to stuff like that even like the water bottles themselves and the box the boxes that I get rid of you guys will see I started piling boxes at the side of my trash can versus putting them in it most of the time because I do try to recycle now a lot of things I had no idea about until YouTube and you guys brought it to my attention so that's why I'm never like totally against criticism because even someone brought it to my attention in a hateful way they were like oh my gosh you never recycle how dare you I, they didn't really say it like that <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that was their tone either because honestly you can't hear tones over the comments and i think that's where a lot of the miscommunication comes from but it was it was a little bit of a rude comment but i'm thankful and i'm grateful for that rude comment because they actually made me sit back and be like snap oh snap you're right like i i should be contributing more to our our world into the ecosystem am i saying that right <laughs> that was a bill now the science guy moment i don't know where that word came from but i'm pretty i feel sophisticated for saying that but i mean they were right so regardless of the delivery of of the critical comments and the rude comments regardless of their delivery do i wish they would deliver it a different way yes but it got the job done because it made me sit back and say hey listen like i could be doing way better than i'm doing right now and i need to be doing way better than i'm doing right now so i've been trying to be more alert and things like water usage and uh you know recycling and that's all because of youtube i'm using this pineapple and sea breeze y'all know i am on a summer kick right now i even had the peach and daisy one. Oh, that's one of my favorite oh my goodness from Better Homes and Garden, the wax melt, the peach and daisy, I think it's white peach and daisy, is one of my favorite wax melts. And it's not even like a scent I usually go for. I don't go for that scent at all. It It's like a, I don't know, it's very clean and refreshing though. Wakes you up in the morning and like, you're just like, man, it smells good. Let's get some stuff done. It's a very motivating scent. And I don't know if that's what they were going for, but that's what, that's what they got done. It's a very motivating scent. Here's the perfect example of not doing stuff in the evening and it kicking my tail because if I had done my evening routine like I have been doing my evening routine, then the dirty dishes last night would have got into the dishwasher and it would have been washing overnight and I would have unloaded it this morning and it would have went seamless, but it didn't go that way. It went more so like Marina being lazy and wanting to hang out with the kiddos and stuff. <laughs> which I'm not ever going to be mad about, but I was mad about it this morning whenever I woke up and I saw this crusty old hamburger helper and I had to clean that junk. I was mad about it. I was kicking my own tail. So moral of the story is do your evening dishes. <laughs> These dishes were so atrocious. They were so bad that I had to make a steaming hot side of sink water. What was I even saying there? And soak these suckers because I would have been scrubbing at these things forever if they had if I hadn't let them soak for a little while. Dishes always set off my gag reflex. It never fails. <laughs> I'm gonna leave these to soak for a minute, and that is not a lie. Usually, when I say I'm gonna leave them to soak, I leave them. 
and they soak for days. <laughs> but I'm gonna come back in a few minutes after all that gunk loosens up off of them. As surprising as it is to you, it's surprising to me. I come back and I wash these suckers and I even wash a second load. I put the second load in there to soak too because the pan really needed to soak. <laughs> See, I keep coming back. Second time I have left them to soak and I keep coming back. I need a pat on the shoulder for that and because I am the worst at walking off and leaving my dishes to soak and then just never coming back for them. Well, I come back for them. It's just a week later and then by that time I got swamp water I'm digging through and I can't, uh, I cannot, mm -mm. <laughs> I cannot do swamp water. Oh, my least favorite part. Oh, <laughs> that's gross. Oh my gosh, thank you for having places. <laughs> thank you for Lobby Lobby. Ah. <laughs> Dollar Tree. <laughs> what? Ooh, Ollie's. Ross. Ross is my happy place. Listen, you guys gave me a science lesson last time. So I found out the reason last time I posed the question, why do we use different brushes and sponges for our sink than we do from our dishes if they're both getting washed? Y'all came in. <laughs> y'all came in with health signs and y'all were literally, y'all need degrees because <laughs> I found out it's cross contamination, which duh, everybody else knows that, but it just, it was not hitting me. Like I was like, why do we use different sponges for the sink and the food? But somebody came on and I cannot remember the argument at all, like the scientific argument at all to tell you guys what it was. But it the main thing was it was cross-contamination. And they made it sound like, they made so much sense. <laughs> I couldn't even say anything bad to it. I was like, oh man, like, yeah, that's it. You're right. You, you taught me something. <laughs> Because I, I literally did not know why I couldn't put my finger on it. And then they came in with like this seamless, I mean, project. I'm telling you, they could have put a whiteboard and done the X value of Y. That's algebra. But like they could have done something like that and it, it would have made perfect sense to me. I was like, man, yes, professor. Okay. <laughs> I'd fail the test if they tested me now, but what I did get from it was it, it'll give you like E. coli. You'll get really sick if you do that, or you could, not that you will, but you could, so just don't take the chance. That's basically my final answer. <laughs> all the above, I choose all the above. When in doubt, choose all the above. <laughs> My washer or my dryer just serenaded us, but I'm gonna go ahead and take these under light cabinets down because I'm thinking of doing something here in the kitchen now. I asked y'all if I if you thought I should get rid of the brick in here or leave it, like if you thought it was too much because I had the accent on the front of the island. I prefer the accent if I have to choose, I prefer the accent on the front of the island to this. 
just because this for some reason it might be the countertop which we're going to be changing soon this is literally just peel and stick countertop like it's contact paper it might be that the countertop clashes with the brick because that's a lot of pattern going on a bunch of you guys suggested painting it the stone harbor grayish and but leaving the texture a bunch of you guys suggested painting it white and leaving the texture some of you guys said it looked good as, as it is i've been like looking at it and thinking i've been thinking and i think i'm wanting to do a particular countertop and if i do that countertop paired with that brick it's going to look like a cottage in here and there's nothing wrong with cottage decor cottage core is it cottage core or cottage decor cottage core there's nothing wrong with cottage core i just don't go towards that uh in my house like i like i don't know what my style is i just really i just don't like cottagey stuff in the house even though I want to be Laura Ingalls, I'm pretty sure her house looked like cottage. It had to look like cottage. But it, it's just not my thing. What was I saying? Oh, it's just not my thing. So, like, either A, I'm going to try painting it white if it looks too cottagey with the new countertops, or I'm going to do something totally all together. Listen, doing stuff in your home is a process. You do things. You see if you like them, if you like them, you keep it. If you don't, you keep changing it until you get it how you like it. Sometimes you like things for six months and then you you're, you do something else and it doesn't flow with that and you want to try something else. Or sometimes you like it for six months and you get tired of it. I'm not tired of the brick. I love the brick in my home. It's just on this wall, this wall has always been hard for me to decorate. So I don't really know what to do. But whatever I do... It's going to be a process. It's going to take some tweaking until I get it how I like it. And that's pretty much goes for everything else in my home. It's always tweaking until I get it like I like it. But I am going to, what did I, I started this conversation now telling y'all I was going to take these lights down. I don't know how we got there. But I'm going to take these lights down. Now I put these lights up. Are they, okay, we need to make sure that they're not plugged up or I'm getting shocked. Uh, I put these lights up when Shane was at work with a friend one day and we couldn't get them to stick. So we hot glued them. So they are like glued glued. They're good glued uh, up here. <laughs> so they're kind of a pain in the butt to get off. Don't do that y'all. Just wait for your husband to get home if you don't know what you're doing. Do not hot glue your lights. Pretty sure that's a fire hazard too. That I was, I was not thinking, which I never am. Just pulling down some of my stuff though. And then over here, they're zip tied. Okay. So I had to wipe down the oven again. So these were cool lights. They just didn't stick very well. Can't even remember what brand they are, but I got them off of Amazon. The wires are a hassle. Next time I do under cabinet lights, they're gonna be LED strips like in my bedroom. It feels good to finally get them down. I don't know what took me so long to do it. Do you guys ever do that? Do you guys ever wait forever to take something down and you get it down it took like five seconds and you're like, why did I put that off for so long? I don't know. It just hung there looking weird for like a year. <laughs> and I didn't even touch it because I kept putting it off. Now I'm like, Rena, why'd you do that? <laughs> to tell you guys that we dyed Coat's hair. We dyed it red and we had to cut Cammie's hair. A bunch of guys were like, Marina, you cut Cammie's hair? It was a mishap that happened and it was a whole thing. We're coming to terms with it now. Um, uh, Uncle Bubba? Uh-huh. You know Uncle Bubba? Do I know Uncle Bubba? Um, yeah. Oh, guys, this is uh, the skateboard he gave me. It's upside down, isn't it? <laughs> 
Mine says I can write it and it, it can go outside for a little bit. I'm using the Downy Romantic uh, beads and the fabric softener. I got it for Valentine's Day and I, that's how much I did laundry during February. Not enough at all to even use it. <laughs> but I got it and it smells really good. I'm still a fan of the Downy Intense fabric softener and the white container of Downy beads. But these smell really good together too. I've lost count of how many loads of laundry I've done today. But I can probably absolutely say for certain probably absolutely <laughs> that I've done at least five loads today which is five more loads than what I've done in the last like I don't know three weeks <laughs> so we're on a roll and if I do say so myself my hamper is looking pretty bare I have three loads here but I'm not going to stop because if I stop I still got three loads well maybe even four so we're going to keep going until the day is over to see how many we can get done throughout our day I do still have to sweep the kitchen and then I need to tackle the living room. One side of our couch is unsuitable now. I told you guys we got that from Big Lots. And I don't get on here and ever like shame stores. I'll just say in our situation, in my opinion, I probably absolutely, because that's what I'm saying today, I probably absolutely will never get another couch at Big Lots because we can't even sit on that side anymore. So I don't really have a couch fund going because my couch envelope that I was using, I threw away because we had bought a couch. I tried reaching out and they offered to give me a gift card, uh, like a little gift card. So honestly, I'm not getting any, any it's, there's no communication there. So. I think I'm going to just count my losses. I don't have the money to go out and get a big old cow, but we can make it work. I need, I'll probably get rid of one side and then kind of hide the other side. You know, like we're taking it back to our roots <laughs> and just working with what we got. Because my time here on YouTube, I have learned that the more money I spend on updates and stuff like that, the less money I have in my savings account. And I don't like that. I just want to go back to my roots of doing things super affordable, which all my stuff has always been affordable. But I want to go back to the roots of doing it really affordable because what is the point? At the end of the day, the new couch or money in my kid's savings fund. I mean, what am I going to wish I had done 20 years from now? I'm going to wish I had to put that money in the kiddo's savings account. But like I said, it's not really going to affect anything because all my makeovers have been really have been affordable and I've saved up money specifically for them but I even want to go more so affordable so that any of you guys can do it some of you guys get paid weekly some of you guys get paid monthly some of you guys are on a fixed income I never want you to look at my home and think it's unobtainable because you can absolutely do this but just uh, just some time it just takes time to save money I haven't always been good with money I used to be horrendous with money I told you guys that before if you watched any of like my Q&A's or anything or my budgeting videos I've not been a stranger to telling you guys I was horrible with money we made devastating money mistakes now doing the envelope system looking back to then it is such a difference in what the envelope system can do so I don't have an envelope system for another couch but we're just going to make it work I can swing by because I do have a decor envelope I always have going I can dip into that for maybe a chair because we need enough sitting area for like we need enough sitting space for all of us I don't know yet I don't know what I'm going to do like I said we cannot sit on that side of the couch anymore I mean it's completely demolished like when you sit down you have nails and wood going into your sides and it's too dangerous it's a liability to have especially if the kiddos forget and they run and jump on it I don't want the, anybody getting hurt so we're just gonna work with it um, and maybe it's a blessing in disguise you never know <laughs> I am gonna sweep up the kitchen though because I'm doing my rotating thing I'm gonna sweep up the kitchen and then I need to just tidy up the school bin from school earlier and then we'll move on to the living room like I said I'm not going to shame big lots because this is my only bad experience with them because it's my only experience with them this is the first time I've ever gotten a big piece of furniture at big lots so I'm not just going to go off this one experience and say oh my gosh shame on you big lots because my couch fell apart it could just be a fluke I don't know if it is because a lot of you guys have told me about similar experiences that you guys have had with big lots but I'm not going to shame them over one thing that happened to me I'm not gonna do that it is unfortunate because the couch wasn't cheap I mean it probably is cheap to some of you guys but like for my budget like it was the most I've never had like a brand new couch that was my first brand new couch all of my other ones came from Craigslist or from Nanny <laughs> like whenever she would get a new couch she'd give me hers her old one so I uh, it's my only experience with big lots I do want to say though as far as anything else I've gotten at big lots their prices seem to be steepy 
but the quality of it is pretty good. Most of my laundry decor, like the black signs and stuff on the laundry shelf, like is all from Big Lots and it's been great. What you guys don't know is I've been beating on the door for 30 minutes because I went to take the trash out and I got locked outside. <laughs> I'm just tidying up right now. I do plan on doing a very big deep clean, like an early spring cleaning of my home. I've never spring cleaned before. So I'm gonna look up like lists and stuff on the internet, maybe on Pinterest of how to do that. Catch up, just chilling in Thor. On a lot, bruh. What in the world are we thinking? You know when you guys go to get like your driver's license, you've had your permit for forever, but you went to get your driver's license, like you were so excited to adult. That's what I feel like going into spring cleaning. Like I've never done it before, but I'm so excited to do it. Like I'm gonna feel like an actual adult. I'm a 30 year old adult. <laughs> I'm just now feeling like an actual adult. So the left side of the couch right here is the side that is completely demolished. Now the right side is broken too. You guys have seen the damage in the back of that side, but the left side is worse. When I'm trying to take this couch apart, it won't budge. Whenever I don't try to take it apart, it just falls apart. I gave up here. You can't get it unhooked? No, I have tried and tried. Anytime I don't want to, I can get it unhooked just fine. All right? It looks so bare and sad. Well, I'm trying not to be upset, y'all. I'm trying really hard not to be upset. Uh, bright side. It, it looks bigger in here. I mean, it looks humongous in here now. Uh, like, like, look how big. Like, it, it looks really big in here now. Um, I'm trying to see it on the bright side. At, at least that side worked. It could have been worse. Both sides could have been broken. Which that side is broken. Like it has that back part that that busted out and tore up the wall. But at least it's sitable. Like we can sit on it. So all that's left now is to finish up on laundry. Uh, I'm going to let the dogs go out and play with the kiddos. Because they were all playing in their rooms with them. And then they left them. So now the puppies are like hello. <laughs> so I'm going to send them outside with the kiddos to let them play for a little bit outside and get some energy out of them. Still working on laundry, but the rest of the house is done. It's clean in here. Yes. That'll be put away. I'm just going to finish up these loads of laundry. Well, as many as I can. It's already, look at my pretty flowers she got me for Valentine's Day, by the way. It's already 5.30. So I'm probably just going to get one more load done. But one more is more than zero. <laughs> so I'm going to do one more load of laundry uh, after I get this all cleared off. I even cleared some stuff off of my countertops because it just makes me feel better. 
with not a lot of stuff only like necessary stuff on it you know what i mean so i started minimalism my way which i'm about to do another video in that series y'all really like that series i like it too because i get rid of stuff but i'm going to do it on my closet in my bedroom which hasn't been decluttered in a while but i want to be proof that you can't have decor and you can love decor and your home can still look minimal like i'm a fan of decor in my opinion like my home is decorated but it's not like too decorated in my opinion but if you love decor do a ton of decor whatever makes you feel comfortable in your home do it what makes me feel comfortable in my home is having like minimal stuff like having decor decorating my home in the style that we like but not having too much stuff not feeling the need to put a ton of stuff on every single shelf that's what makes me feel comfortable is looking around seeing it beautifully decorated but still seeing empty spaces and stuff like that i think that's why i'm not totally devastated that my couch broke because while it is sad and I spent a lot of money on that couch. I mean, not a lot of money. It's from Big Lots, but a lot of money for me. I spent a lot of money on that couch. I'm sad about it. But then again, like I said earlier, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Maybe I needed some extra room. You know, it was it was a very big couch for this little trailer. So you never know. I could end up liking it without that side better than I did with that side. Regardless, we still have a couch, thank you Jesus, and it's still sitable. So I'm I'm golden. <laughs> but my next video that I plan to do is a closet declutter i mean closet declutter i want to get rid of at least half of the stuff in my closet and then i'm going to turn around and do a closet makeover and try to do it in a way that's budget friendly and that's actually keepable how do you say that like i'm going to keep it that way it's not just going to be for looks and then it's not usable like you know what i mean there's a word that i'm looking for and it's i'm just not tapping into that side of the library today in my brain but i want to be able to do something that's affordable but also that it was almost there it was going like fart in the wind though you know what i mean like something i can keep do using and i didn't just do it for looks you know what i'm saying so that's coming up and i'm really excited about that because it makes me feel free to get rid of things not just get rid of random things like i mean get rid of things that i haven't either used in forever haven't looked at in forever forgot i even had if i forgot i had it then i don't need it because i haven't used it in that long unless it's like my memory bins which are all my kiddos keep keepsakes and all shane and mine's keepsakes from like being kids and stuff like that our dating stuff stuff like that that's important to me but as far as everything else in there if i haven't seen it if i forgot i had it then i don't need it let's get that off of there and then we're gonna be done table's clear it is midnight I mean, my brother came over and instead of doing some of my laundry they kind of had the washer and dryer to catch up on their laundry which their laundry made my laundry look like nothing <laughs> because it was like a like a weekend something of their clothes so i still got to add some of my clothes into the wash i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now before i go to bed but i wanted to get on here and say that i hope you have a blessed morning even if not whatever it is wherever you're at know that i love you but jesus loves you more thank you for doing the daggone thing with me today i will see y'all later